Hi, this is Matthew Jenkins Yaroshevitz, assistant conductor of your Canton Symphony Orchestra. As the days grow shorter, the mercury drops lower, and the first flurries fall over Northeast Ohio, we approach another holiday season. This December, we are pleased to bring a true Canton story embodying the spirit of the season back to the stage of Umstadt Hall as we present The Secret Gift. Local composer Eric Benjamin based this work on the similarly titled book by investigative journalist and Canton native Ted Gupp, which tells the story of Gupp's grandfather, Sam Stone, and how he brought a little Christmas cheer to 150 Cantonians and their families mired in the throes of the Great Depression in 1933. In December of that year, Stone, a successful clothing salesman, placed an ad in the Canton Repository offering small monetary gifts to those in need who were willing to share their circumstances. The shame that may ordinarily have prevented many from writing such a letter was mollified by Stone's use of the alias B. Virdot, a name created by combining the names of his three daughters. With the promise of anonymity, hundreds of people of all ages, races, and socioeconomic backgrounds responded to the ad, and while the five dollars that many of them received wasn't much money, the effect it had on their morale was invaluable. This unique and beautiful story is told in the form of a dramatic cantata with the help of the Canton Symphony Chorus and local actors and singers. The composer plays the role of Ted Gupp, who narrates the work, and maestro Gerhard Zimmerman and the Canton Symphony Orchestra perform his highly cinematic score that is peppered with references to a myriad of Christmas carols and allusions to the vernacular music of the time. After intermission, we present one of the most popular and well-known works ever to be written for the symphony orchestra, the great fifth symphony of Ludwig van Beethoven. The piece opens with arguably the most famous four notes in the history of Western music, which, like the opening of Tchaikovsky's fourth at our last concert, have been forever linked with fate. We hope you will join us for Gifts of Fate on Sunday, December 3rd at 7.30 p.m.